as we get close to the end of the first grading period, it makes sense to plan a little bit for how students can see old content. Um, a lot of teachers are finding that they want to be able to hide the older content from first nine weeks so that students don't go back and try to work on old assignments. There's a way you can do that as you are working on your assignments in the first place. So, for example, this is an assignment that I've gotten ready. I'm going to go into edit mode so you can see it as if I had been working on it. So let's say I just created this assignment. I'm going to scroll down and we need to talk about this part, about the assign to box. Uh, so um, the top is who you assign it to. It's typically going to be everyone or your A cohort and your B cohort. And then the due date, most of you are familiar with. But we also have the available from and available until. And what a lot of teachers are starting to find is that this is a very important box. So for example, it's due on September 19th. But let's say that the semester doesn't end until October 15th. It probably would make sense to keep this until box open and mark it as October 15th. This means that until the 15th, this assignment stays in view for students. So that means if they didn't turn it in on time, they can still turn it in and it will be marked late so that you can see that it was turned in late. But they'll still be able to go back and do it if you allow the mm -hmm. late work. This also means that after the 15th, when we start to move in the second nine weeks, let's say, then this assignment will disappear and students won't be able to go back or they just won't see it and, and have it there to confuse them. So it's important to fill this out and then save. Now, the question you may be asking is, okay, that's great, but I have all these old assignments that I didn't put that until date on. So there is a quicker way to do this than to go into modules and click on every assignment and click on edit and go down and change that date. You can actually adjust them all at once. So to do that, you're going to find your assignments tab. Okay, so we're going to go into assignments. So this is where you can see all your assignments in one place. What we want to do is we want to go up to the top. We want to click on the three dots. And one of the options there is edit assignment dates. So when that pops up, we get this long list of all the assignments we have. And it tells us both the due date and the available from and available until dates. So this is where if I haven't done them before, I can go in to each one of these and I can just say October 15th. And as you can see, it's only two clicks to set a date on one of those. And that way, we can make it so that all these assignments will disappear as soon as the end of the nine weeks rolls around. And that's pretty much it. Once we have it done, we're going to hit Save. And now all those assignment dates have been saved successfully.